Now let's go over the ceiling. Let's go through. Let's talk about service mindset that's way above, that's at the level of downright unbelievable and see what happens. Because as we saw with product and delivery, it came sliding right back down. One of the taxi companies here in Singapore has a way of getting in touch where you can telephone, or you can telephone with a corporate card, or you can fax for a taxi. Now, I find that very convenient. Because if I try to call for a taxi, sometimes when I really need one, it's very busy. So I get an engaged tone. Eh, eh, eh. But if I use a fax and it's engaged, I simply leave the facts to auto-redial. And 30 seconds later, it will try again, and it will try again, and eventually my facts will go through, and then they'll call me back and tell me the taxi number. Terrific. So at my home, I have two phone lines. One's for the facts, one's for the phone. And what I usually do is at about 1 o'clock at night, just before I go to bed, I'll fax to Comfort Taxi so that there will be a taxi waiting for me the next morning when I get up. So I've made a little form for myself because I do it so frequently. Hello, Comfort Taxi. This is Ron Kaufman. Here's my address. I need a taxi at, and then there's an empty line right there. And so I write in by hand, 7.30 AM. My destination is, and there's another little line, and that day I had a flight from the airport at 8.30, so I wrote airport. And then there's one more line I added. It says, please call me to tell me the taxi number at, and there's another little empty line. Now you see, if I fax at 1 o'clock in the morning, I don't want them to call me at 1.15 in the morning. Right, like you, I would hope that I'm already fast asleep. But it would be very convenient if they would call me at about 6.30 in the morning, if the taxi's coming at 7.30. With as much as I travel, in the hotels, I always get a wake-up call. So now, even when I'm in Singapore, I get a wake-up call. So I sent off my fax, and at 1 o'clock in the morning, I fell asleep. What I didn't know is that when I had my last phone call that night, about 11 p.m., and I put the phone down on the hook, it didn't go all the way down on the hook. Has that ever happened to you? where you put the phone down, and it looks like it's down, but it's not all the way down. But you don't know that it's not all the way down because it looks like it's down. But if somebody tries to call you, they know it's not down because they get eh, eh. So the next morning at 6.30 in the morning, the woman in Jurong at Comfort Taxi radio control booth tried to call me to tell me the taxi number for 7.30. And she got loud and clear, Ah, ah, ah. So she waited for five minutes, and she tried again at 6.35. What did she get? Ah, ah. 6.40. Ah, ah. 6.45. Ah, ah. 6.47. Ah, ah, ah. She sat there on the other side of the country, scratched her head and thought to herself, hmm, Mr. Kaufman and I have got a problem. Good thing for me, she had a good service mindset. Otherwise, she would have sat there and said, <laughs> Mr. Kaufman's got a problem. <laughs> now, I didn't know I had a problem because I was still sleeping. At 7 o'clock in the morning, my doorbell rang. And I woke up and I got four shocks in a row. Shock number one, I looked at the clock. It's half an hour after when I'm supposed to be up. Shock number two, I didn't get my wake-up call. Shock number three, I'm late to go to the airport. Shock number four, I don't know if there's a taxi waiting for me. And shock number five, there's somebody at my door. So I jump up, I go running over to the door, I yank it open. Guess who's standing there on the 21st floor? A taxi driver. I looked at him, I said, huh? He goes, are you Mr. Kaufman? I said, yeah, yeah, I am. He goes, your phone is off the hook. I looked back in the house, I looked at the phone, it didn't look like it was off the hook. I said, how do you know? He said, well, I'm from the taxi company. We've been trying to call you for half an hour. Look, you must be kind of concerned about your flight coming up at the airport. Don't worry. 
At 7.30, there will be a taxi waiting for you downstairs. And he told me the taxi number. And then he looked at his watch and he said, you know, right now, young man, you better go take a shower. And boom, he closed the door. I went screaming in. I took a shower. I went racing back downstairs. 7.30, sure enough, there was the taxi waiting for me. I jumped in, screamed off to the airport. Yeah. I made it on time. It was only on my way to the airport that I realized what that woman in Jurong must have done. She, with her mindset, must have called up on the radio system to all the taxi drivers in Singapore and said, I need one of you <laughs> to go to this Ang Ma's apartment and park. Get out of your taxi, walk the 25 meters, get to the elevator, go up 21 floors, find his apartment, ring the doorbell, wait for him to wake up. Reassure him that there's a taxi coming. Tell him that his phone is off the hook. Make sure he takes a shower. Close the door. Go back down the 24 flight. Walk the 25 meters. Get back in your taxi and drive away. How much money did that taxi driver get? Nothing. I would have tipped him, but I was in shock. <laughs> now. That was one instance of service mindset that was clearly above the glass ceiling. <gasps> it wasn't surprising. It was unbelievable. What happened to me with Comfort Taxi because of that one instance of unbelievable service mindset? My loyalty to that company has become so strong that if I'm standing in line somewhere, and there's a line of taxis coming, and then I'm the next one, but the next taxi is, let's say, black, <laughs> but the one after it is blue, you know what I do? I step back, and I say, you go ahead and take this one, I'll wait for that one. <laughs> and they look at me like this. What's the matter with that one? <laughs> I say, no, 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 I even hold the door, you know, you go ahead. And, and sometimes, like a little old lady, she thinks I'm a tourist, she goes, young man, I say, oh, thank God, you still call me young man, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the young man, all taxis in Singapore are the same. And sometimes, she's right. I mean, sometimes it's exactly the same physical product except for the paint job. And I say, well, I know, I understand, but you go ahead, I take the blue one. 